Here we are at the St. Germain Swap. Good time to be here. They don't have the Wolfman howling yet. Pretty good. How you doing, Phil? Why are the used racing bibs cheaper than the new ones? Why are the used ones less money than the new ones? They're half wore out. Well, I would think some famous racer wore them. They should be worth more. First find, a pair of TX340 cylinders with cast iron sleeves for 10 bucks with pistons. Got to do it. All right, the haul got bigger. We got an extra set of matching Wiseco pistons and rings on there. And you guys know how much I love TXLs. Got a motor. So uh, got to go make a trip to the, to the truck. This trailer full of goodness. Scorpion, sweet TXL Indy. Good stuff. Good thing I don't have room to bring any sleds home. You need another TX? I uh, didn't bring a trailer. out filming the swap you got some sweet XLTs out here really sweet damn happy I didn't bring a trailer <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, here's a sled my buddy Mike's selling. He's also selling that other triple I just showed, and uh, it's a homemade 660. Him and my buddy Hoover built uh, built the motor. Hoover did the bottom end. Mike Mike put her together. Pretty wild. Mike also brought some big time blizzards here. Holy crap! Check this out. The hardware mic bot. Say say hi to YouTube, Mike. Okay. Say hi to YouTube. How's it going? See, you got friends that are serious racers. <laughs> Look at this stuff. Oh, what do you got? This is my buddy Eric's stuff, and I don't know where he is. He wanted to be on the channel. Guess we'll have to come back later. Yeah. Here's my friend Paul's little bunch of stuff he's selling. Paul is your guy that you uh, bring your vintage Polaris leathers to for repairs over in St. Croix, Wisconsin. Osceola, Wisconsin. TX stuff. Jeez, that's exciting. Holy cow. 
Bingo. Well, upon further examination, it's an early Indy trail motor plate, not a TX. Bummer. And the other one, TX plate, is a 340. Keep looking. YouTube camera. <laughs> really? Showing the people of the world what's at the swap here. Vast quantities of skidoo parts. Vast. So far, skidoo parts. Good swap for the skidoo guys. All right, we're into the good stuff. We're into the scorpion parts. There you go. Here's my bullwhip hookup, <laughs> Steve Chapman. How you doing, Steve? All right, bud. Bring any bullwhip stuff I need? I got a cover, but I sold it. Oh, geez, bummer. Yeah. Oh well. Got a cover for. We're building the, uh, I have Amish people that are making uh, all yeah. the original covers now, so. Nice. Yeah. Well, I got one of your seat covers. I just got to get back on the project. 
Yeah, the covers have turned out really nice. We uh, we had somebody lend us a uh, a cover that that we could tear apart. You know, original. Yeah. And then I have an Amish people over in Michigan that do all my work for me. So, so she copied it, and we did a few improvements on it because it had shrunk a little bit, and there were some yeah. other areas that needed uh, some additional additional material added to it. Now, but yeah, yeah. Well, there you go. So good. I'll put a link to Steve's website if you're wondering where to get covers, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, find you after the whole row is nothing but skidoos. <laughs> then it's red. Yeah, then it turns scorpion real quick. Thank you. Mm hmm. Hey, John. Yo. You got a, you got a Santa's list here. Yeah. I Amazing the stuff you find here. Holy cow, these are cool. Did you used to just make motors? Yes. I think I have one of your motors on my shelf. That's pretty cool. The shooting star. Holy cow. Cool. Once again, your leather repair specialist. <laughs> Do you know what, what size shaft those wall drivers are for? One inch. One inch? Yeah. All right. My buddy told me to watch for some, and where the hell is he? <laughs> Tom, Tommy Speedrun Sled Project. What did we get there, Tommy? The drivers. We got some Wall Brothers, nine tooth, one inch shaft, two fifty two pitch, brand new, love swap meets. Yeah. Ski rule suits. Looks like maybe a scorpion suit. Ha, 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 ha. The only problem 
my guard is enough. I don't know about that. She has me to watch. I was wondering. I was wondering. Hey, he was asking what that thing came off of. Which one? The one right there. Yeah, that vent thing. Oh, I'm off the top. No, no, it's a little thick. I got, I got some of the PX and the Hex are on chat. Yeah. But that ain't He's great. got more. There's a ton of player stuff down here. Bring that down. That ain't the right one. Yeah, but the big guy. He's got parts down there, too. Um, we, just bought, we just bought a ton of old player stuff. See an orange jacket yet? No, I haven't seen any. I put the drivers and my jacket on, on top of them, the <coughs> motor pile over there. Okay. Because we found a dollar. I, I understand that. They sell them all day for good money. Oh, yeah. If you got them, you There's a shit ton of Polaris floating on here today. There's a lot more Polaris stuff than normal here today. Yeah, and you go tour his stuff that he has at his place, ours, and absolutely, that's the. <laughs> yeah, that's right. In the swap here, someplace. That's what he said. Yeah, he's up here. He's yeah, a, I haven't even been over in that row yet. Is John? Is he? Don't let that goofy girl buy me. Well, look who's here to see us. Oh, and Eileen's here too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doing and fine. I am fine. You're not buying enough stuff. Buy more stuff. You'll find it. Oh, I gotta, you reminded me. I gotta get the candy out. Hi. Right. You're gonna come and say hi to me too. <laughs> That's awesome. What? Your dog. Yeah. He's a handful, yeah. <laughs> but he's getting better. Getting better? He used to be worse. All right. Players. That does that. That's a different style. Than the no, this is this is the. That's an '86. Yeah, it it's supposed work. to have the pins. It does. It's got the strap. Tubing mud now? Yeah. <laughs> Watching your thing for a while. Have you? Yeah. Sold 
out in the Canadian's bodies. Fast Industries in Winnipeg had them built in a town called Steinbeck. stock glare cylinders. Oh, you got oh, you're taking a video. You got to walk by all your good player stuff. You got the goodies always. Crazy. Yeah. It was my goal in life. I was going to see who had the most stuff. Well, I think you, you and Sukup are in the running. Yeah, and I, I sold, I sold a lot of stuff to Sukup. Look at all the. Uh, these are all NOS Polaris cylinders here, aren't they? Yep. Holy cow! That's quite a pile. All kinds of stuff. That is quite a pile. Really cool. Is, oh, they're so easy to work they on. It's, I'd rather work on a ZR. <laughs> I'd rather work on the ZRs. I can't do that. <laughs> Plus, I don't have time right now. I've got too much going on. I'm trying to figure out how life works.
jacket in bed. for a while too with my old employer I quit installing those little piston hulls you know mm -hmm. now I see a lot of them all the way through they could be well to start but no, is that the one? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, here's the sled. We didn't get a real good look at warnings yesterday, but pretty sweet. Nothing too much. Guys, Kevin Boggs, Polaris Ambassador here. He's showing the Polaris shirt off. It's awesome. There you go. There you go. Yep, there you go. Polaris Ambassador sticker. So uh, he's got a nice bunch of Polaris stuff out here. I'll turn off the camera so we can talk. Nice looking XLT.
Yeah, I'll do 25, but that's fine. Caught Rodney in his natural habitat, buying skidoo stuff. John! <laughs> oh, it's motor ski. Oh, it's motor ski. Come on. Motor ski. Oh, it does have a dash Whoa. in it. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep. All right, ready? Yep. Thank you. Well, I'll tell you, just wait a second. Call that cell phone number and tell them what you're going to offer for that. And if he says yes, then you can do it. Well, you don't see those at a swap meet very often, do you? Or never. <laughs> really? That's awesome. Here's, a, here's my friend Eric, also known as Classic Pat Connection. Right there. There you go, it's on the cart. Eric just borrowed me the cart to haul the TXL home. And uh, what was it the guy said? You were in a documentary? Yes, uh, somebody ran into me and they were like, yeah, you know, I was on the internet looking on YouTube and stuff like that. And there was some documentary on, on the Princeton swap meet last year and you were on there. And I'm like, a documentary? On YouTube, really? Well, then I figured out what it was. It was Nutter. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I guess I'm making documentaries of swap meets now. Hope you're enjoying them. Nice sleds. Thank you. Gotta get my ass in gear here. <laughs> oh, you got more goodies in the trailer? I poked my camera in there? Maybe I'll just come back later, but. We'll be all set up here after. Oh, jeez. 440X Sonic? What else? Oh, little guy. That's cool, man. Very nice.
Well, there's the St. Germain swap. I hope you enjoyed it. As you can see, it was a great swap and show. With lots of bargains for just about any vintage snowmobile person. So, uh, huge thanks to the patrons. You guys really helped keep the channel going. Everybody else, I hope you hit subscribe and stick around. Watch my other videos. i got a couple hundred videos now. You should probably check them out if you're into vintage sleds. And uh, we'll see you at the swap meets.